exhibition, simply called Five. Simply called Five because we've got five of the best painters in Knowsley exhibiting with us uh, in this gallery and I'm delighted to say that they're actually in the gallery this evening so feel free to track them down. This exhibition is a really, it's a wonderful one on many, many levels because um, not only is it fabulous in terms of representing the artists that live or work or study in the borough, but it's a great demonstration of what I think Knowsley is very, very excellent at, and that's uh, supporting our emerging artists and those artists um, in terms of their progression uh, through their creative career and um, pathway. It's a really uh, eclectic mix that we've got on display um, of paintings and works on paper. And as you've all probably travelled through, we have this interesting space within the uh, middle of the, the exhibition, as we've called our artist studio. And that's really to complement and pre um, provide an opportunity to engage with this exhibition on more of an advanced level. So on days in the week, some of the exhibiting artists will actually be residents in the gallery. So above and beyond this evening, and we hope that you will return to this exhibition many times to see the great artwork on the walls. But you can actually come along and engage and see the artists that work, learn more about their inspiration and basically see them um, at their practice, which is really quite unusual, but for, for us offers something quite special with this show. Well, I really want to thank all the artists, um, particularly and personally in this exhibition as well, because we've kind of watched the progression and development of these artists over a great many years. Um, and the interesting connection that they all have is that they've all been regular exhibitors at our annual open art exhibition as well. And it's really on the back of that that we've been able to chart and see and enjoy their development as artists, to which I really hope you get to do this evening and continue to do so uh, whilst this exhibition's on right through till September. So I really hope you enjoy that, but I'm actually going to hand over to Steve Dixon who heads up the Kirby Collaborative Network of Schools to say a little bit more about the exhibition <coughs> and its offer. Okay. Uh, just before I start, uh, who is, if anybody who is it the first time that you visited the gallery today, who's come here for the first time? Ooh, most people have been here before, that's great, that's really good, that's well done. Um, so just in terms of the Kirby Collaborative, we're the group of schools in, uh, in Kirby. Uh, we work as an organisation. There's 12 primary schools, two secondary and one special, uh, based here in Kirby, working together as a family of schools for the community of Kirby. And over the last two years, the Kirby Gallery, particularly Tina, have worked proactively in partnership with us to extend the opportunities for education through ours. And we want to place the gallery at the heart of our creative curriculum. And we're supported in our visits by Teacher First events, which, for example, tonight where we're able to come with teachers from, from, our, uh, from our schools and see them, meet the artists and talk about the works before children then come on a visit, hopefully between now and the end of the exhibition in September. Um, and because of that support that we've had from the gallery, we've been able to move from the first time we did this, we had sort of 10, 20, 30 children coming, but we've moved into a thousand, so it's been a fantastic uh, impact of that, that partnership between us. Um, and the gallery's role in development of art in our schools has been extended through the successful art loan scheme and the development of the mini museums project. And the last time I spoke, I said, uh, I'd I'm sure we'd all love to have a Willie Russell original hanging in our schools after the exhibition. And now we have. We've got one currently in East Cove Park in, 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 in the London Derby. And so next time, we're hoping to see a McGillivray, a Briggs, a Cowley, a Kirby, and a Daly <laughs> hanging in our schools. Um, and one of the exciting elements of arriving in the exhibition, and usually I've sneaked in beforehand, and tonight I haven't, so this is the first time for me to come in. It's always amazing how different it is, and if you've been before, you know this space is never the same. And, um, and this time it's amazing to have a, a pioneering new way of actually having an, an artist's studio here, so children can actually see an artist working in front of their very eyes, rather than just seeing paintings, actually talking to the artist, seeing the art, artist in action. And it's great, another imaginative piece of work by Tina and the team in making art accessible to everybody. Um, and as I mentioned, we want the gallery to be part of our school and town community and wider across Mosley and beyond. And it's great, we've got artists from across Mosley who are exhibiting. Uh, and therefore, I think it's fantastic that we can move from having the works of Henry Moore, David Hockney, Barbara Hepworth, Bridget Riley, to name just a few of the people who've been here in the last two years, to then provide the opportunity for local artists to follow in their footsteps. 
This gallery gives all artists a chance to exhibit and all the community an opportunity to engage. And it's been great to have our artists here today to talk to, to give an insight into their inspiration and their work. And I think for family and friends, that chance to celebrate seeing your family's artwork uh, on display. I know in the 1970s, going back a little bit, my brother was really into art, and he exhibited in McGull in the library, and it gave us a big kick to go and see his work on display. So I'm sure for all of you tonight, it's fantastic to see the, your family's work on display. Um, I want to take this opportunity to thank Tina, Vicky, Susan, Andy, and the team of volunteers for all their work and commissioning and bringing this latest exhibition to life here in Kirby. And the council continues to investigate, investigate? To invest, <laughs> maybe investigate, possibly just some times. Uh, continues to invest in our cultural offer and we already look forward to the book art exhibition in September uh, coming to Kirby. Uh, the gallery is here for the community in Kirby, for Nosley and beyond. But I know that central to that offer is making art accessible to the youngest members of our community and giving our children the chance to actually see art happening is the latest opportunity in an offer that goes from strength to strength and it's the work of all involved that makes that possible so thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Hi I'm Sam, I just want to mention um, that just don't forget that along the corridor and up the stairs we're going up and down, not all together obviously, um, we've got artwork from five of our young artists. Um, this is one of the young artists today, Yasmin. She just wants to mention something about her artwork. The work's amazing. It's from the um, as you walk up, and I'm one of the five young people. Yeah. Not, not all the young people will be with us today, some are quite shy. Um, so we did invite them a little bit earlier on. Um, some families are here today as well just to celebrate the work. Um, so please feel free to have a little look and they're all on sale for £20 each. And you can put it well done. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanted to kind of conclude as well to say um, thanks to Yaz and to Sam because we do, again, what I think we're very good at uh, as a council and as a... Um, as a sector is supporting our development uh, talent. We have very high ambitions of what we stage in this uh, gallery, but it's really great, not that this is an ambitious ex uh, exhibition, but we're very grounded in that we want to support and help and assist and develop our creative uh, audiences and our talent within the borough. But I also want to take the opportunity as well as thanking each of the artists for putting the time in to bring this exhibition to fruition, but to thank our fantastic team of volunteers and to reiterate my thanks to Andy Weston who is our multifaceted, multi, multifaceted technician who's very modest but he achieves wonderful things for us. But our, we couldn't do these exhibitions without our volunteers. We've got a small army now of about 25 volunteers, many of whom are here tonight and we couldn't have done this exhibition or any of them without you. So just to conclude, big thanks to our volunteers. Enjoy number five cake and a cup of tea, but enjoy the evening. Thank you for coming.